Hello and welcome to Apache Kafka tutorial at Learning Journal. It is going to be an extended technical training with lots of examples, codes and exercises. This training is being recorded and arranged in a playlist. Each video in the playlist covers a particular concept. Every next video in the playlist is assuming that you are already familiar with the concepts explained in the earlier video. So I recommend you to watch them in a sequence. If you have any doubt or query regarding anything discussed here, you can ask your questions by posting a comment. Okay, so I'll start with a brief introduction to Kafka, then take you through core concepts and jargons associated with Kafka. So the next two videos will build a foundation for rest of the training. If you don't understand everything in first two videos, don't worry about that. Just keep watching. I will cover all of those concepts in more detail as we progress with the training. Other than this first playlist, I have another playlist of external Kafka videos. These are some talks about Kafka. I recommend watching them as well. Things will start making sense after you have some foundation. So you can start the external playlist after completing first two videos from my tutorial playlist. Let me give you some sense about those external videos. The first one is by Jay Krebs. He is the original architect of Apache Kafka at LinkedIn. Now he runs a startup focusing on Kafka. The name of his company and Kafka platform is Confluent. We will be learning about the Confluent platform in later sections of this training. In his video, he talks about the kind of problems they faced at LinkedIn and why they started Kafka project. He further goes on explaining features of Kafka. If you don't get much of that, don't worry about that. You will learn all of those things by end of this training. The next video is again by Jay. In this video, he talks about stream processing. He talks about challenges in creating scalable stream processing systems and goes on explaining how Kafka addresses those problems. The next talk is by Ivan. He is a Kafka project committer and works with Jay at Confluent. He talks about Kafka Connect. That's an engaging discussion about Kafka Connect capabilities. I'm sure you will enjoy it. The last video is Airbnb use case. They talk about many things, but I added it to give you a big picture of Kafka's place in a big data ecosystem. Those are external videos and not in my control. So they may get removed from the YouTube. I may be adding some more videos in the external video playlist later as I discover some useful and relevant stuff. That's it for now and good luck for your learning journey.